Thoughts. We'll take questions from the group. Yeah, um, hard-fought game. Uh, Chicago State is a lot better than people um, on the outside think uh, or could imagine that they are. They've they've uh, they've grinded games out against teams uh, here in the in the non-conference, and they're they're hard to play against. They're talented, and uh, I'm proud of uh, I'm proud of our effort tonight and. Um, our attention to detail was much better, and and I and I'm I'm proud of the way our players responded after um, you know a sub a subpar performance uh, 48 hours ago, one that we were not uh, content we were not content with. It's a friendly way to say it, um, but uh, proud of their response tonight. A lot to build on. Uh, we certainly learned a lot about ourselves uh, throughout this non-conference schedule, and um, excited about. Uh, Missouri Valley Conference play ahead of us. I know 399 is the goal and has been there for a while. Um, what does it mean to think you had to get that, especially going, like you say, going into conferences? Yeah, uh, good, good. You know, I, th I think uh, um, you, you get what you earn. And, and we earned, um, you know, some on that, on that end of the floor tonight, we, we earned some stops that um, we forced them into really tough shots. And uh, we say make, it's a make, make them miss uh, game. And, um, don't hope they miss, make them miss. And uh, I think, I think uh, our effort tonight on that end of the floor, we certainly weren't perfect. Um, we were much more connected than we were a couple nights ago. And, uh, um, but but I, I, think, uh, I think all in all, our effort, attention to detail defined us on that end of the floor. And how uh, obviously it's important to get Liam back in that kind of a flow. Did he run out of gas a little bit? Again? Yeah. I think that's fair. It's it's it, it would be very unrealistic of us to expect him to be full throttle tonight in terms of minutes, um, just in terms of the speed of the game. He's been out, and uh, I appreciate his willingness to um, want to be there for our team. Um, Liam wants to win in the worst way, um, and uh, you know I, I really there was there was a delicate balance there of you know what is too much, and uh, he wanted to go. I wanted him obviously to be there if, if he felt that way and, and uh, be on the floor, and I uh, sort of had to judge it from there once we got in game. Yeah, Haruna. Uh, he, he knows one of the best compliments I could give any player is he's an all-star in his role, right? And uh, it, it takes a special person to to recognize what he can bring. To a team, and uh, sometimes um, those aren't as glamorous, right? It's not, uh, you know, scoring 25 a night. Uh, and uh, I give I give Haruna credit for being in this position to begin with. Um, how he's responded uh, to not playing early, um, I, I said this to the team in the locker room: the game has paid him back, and I, I just I'm, I'm a firm believer in that. And um, uh, he, he, he was able to help us here in the last few games because of his mind and his heart and his spirit um, being right where they should have been, and that's consumed in winning and being there for his teammates. They cut up to two there with 10 minutes to go, and then Luke comes up with a three-point three shot and then a three-point play. Yeah. It doesn't seem to be a coincidence that he's in kind of the middle of stuff like that, does it? Yeah, he's got a knack for being in the right place at the right time. He, 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 he pursued... Uh, I can't remember whose corner air ball that was from the three, but it was like I, 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 I was watching him, and he just snuck in behind there like he knew it was going to air ball and then was right there, uh, not even waiting for it to carry him off the rim. Um, but he, he has wonderful instincts, and uh, in those moments, I think uh, both of those, um, those, those, those paid off well for him. So, um, yeah, I, we, we had a lot of different guys step up, you know. It, it, it's not. Uh, we've said this before. It, it's it's not always going to be um, pretty right now for us in our our development of our program. Right, we're in the stages. We're still in the early stages of you know continuing to get to get to know who we are and what we're all about. We, we were in some really tight situations here in the first what 11 games of the season. Or how many have we played? 11? Is that right? 12. 13, yeah, six and seven, yeah. Should know, I should know our record, but try not to pay too much attention to that early. Um, but but we've 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 had some battle wounds, some scars, and uh, that's that's what what you want as a coach. I think you you want your team to uh, learn and grow from 
tight situations and uh, adversity and um, see how they respond to great, great success. And um, I think in each of those moments, we've been able to learn more about ourselves. And now uh, we got it's time for us to show, show our growth. Coach, four wins in your last five games. Do you think this team's starting to become what you envisioned at the end of the season? Well, I think it's to be determined. I think we've played better and we played more consistent um, in the last five games. So um, I, I try not to judge this big picture um, in the moment because I, I, I want our players to go game by game and uh, be it, it just immersed in the process of what of what this is. And, um, you know, we've clearly played better, um, but um, we also clearly have a long, long way to go. So, um, you know, that's that's to be determined. But uh, I, I, I've said it after wins, I've said it after losses, the circle in our locker room, I love, I love the group we have. And uh, kind of see where this thing goes, you know? And it, it, it won't be, uh, you know, it won't be perfect, but but uh, I love the circle that we have and, and what we're building. Alec, I shot the three-pointer really well lately. Does he need to hunt down those shots even more? Yeah, I think we, we've been saying that to him all along. I'd like him to, you know, catch and shoot a little quicker. I'd like him to hunt those shots a little bit more because when he has, um, he's made some really big shots for us at key times this year, tonight included. Um, and uh, I want him to, yeah, I want, absolutely. He's a do-both guy. He's able to score in the paint uh, at the rim and uh, even in the mid-range, and, and then, of course, at three. So I guess they call those three-level three, three level scores. Um, and he's capable of that. He's not maybe consistently displayed that, but um, he's in, in, in uh, different moments he's shown ability to kind of impact the game in a lot of different ways. What's the schedule between now yeah, we'll practice tomorrow, lift tomorrow, we'll do film cleanup tomorrow, and then um, we'll practice the following day, which would be the 21st, the morning, and then I'll dismiss them until Christmas. Um, we, we'll have to be back Christmas night because we play on the 28th. And, um, um, you know, um, I want them to be able to go home and, and recalibrate, reset, decompress for a couple days, but we come back right after Christmas and, and – uh, you know, we've got the start of Missouri Valley Conference play, which is very important. So um, we'll try to be as efficient as we can over the next couple of days, but I want their bodies to be in the right place when they get back as well. So you'll practice Christmas night? Christmas night, yep. Anybody else? Nope. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks guys.